Okay, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Today's an exciting weekend. We're decorating for Christmas. Seeing myself in the mirrors throwing me off. So we're decorating our tree this year. This is actually the fourth year that we've had this tree and all of our decorations and I'm excited. We're reusing past year's decorations. Social media is crazy and I didn't want to point this out that social media will make you think that you need to buy new decor every single year or a new tree, have a new theme for your tree, have new decor. It is totally normal and totally okay to reuse the things that you have. Here's your reminder. Don't feel pressured by social media to go out and buy all this Christmas decor. I definitely am guilty for doing stuff like that. I always buy maybe like a new like holiday cup, things like that, maybe get some new decor, but this is from two years ago and I got this last year because they had the same one. So I always try and reuse stuff. These bulbs are from, this is our fourth Christmas using them. We're reusing our star on our tree. Got some of these last year from Target just to kind of add more bulbs to the tree, but we're using a lot of the same decor. This is where we put the tree. We don't really have another spot to put it in this apartment. This is the best spot. I keep looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> um, this is the best spot. Here, let me. So this is where we usually put it. We're gonna back it up more against the wall, but we're just pulling it out so we can fluff it and then decorate it. But this is honestly the only spot it really fits. But like I said, we're gonna push it a little bit more up against the wall once we fluff it all out. But here, there is really no spot to put a tree. So this is where we have put it the past two years. So we're gonna put it here again and we're gonna decorate. I'm so excited. I'm also really excited for this ornament because I got it this year um, when we got engaged in, also sliced my finger this week and I keep hitting it. I had to put a bandaid on it. Got this ornament when we got engaged in Rosemary Beach and I'm so excited to put it on the tree. It says 2023 Rosemary Beach and I thought this looked exactly like the sunset on the night that we got engaged on the beach. I'll insert a photo right here, but I'm excited. We went to Italy this year and I feel like I should have gotten an ornament in Italy. Maybe I can order one. I almost bought one in Positano. I almost bought a lemon. So I feel like I should maybe order one to kind of have it as a memory of that trip. I think it's so cute to have ornaments that represent a memory or a specific moment from that year or one year. So I'm excited to add this to the tree this year. I'm gonna start decorating and this tree really needs to be fluffed. Here is the finished tree. I might look at it and move some ornaments around. I need to fix this a little bit. The tree <laughs> we just used a blanket, but here's the tree. This is the second year that we put a star on top. I got a star last year. I grew up with having bows on the top of a tree, but really just wanted a star and some more light. So last year I bought a star. I think I got it from Target. So here's that. I got this candle from Target a couple weeks ago and it didn't burn all the way through the bottom, but it won't light anymore. Got these from Trader Joe's. Starting to turn yellowish. I'm gonna put a candle on here and a tree. So what I always do to decorate here is I always put a big candle when I decorate for like the holiday season. And then I usually have a vase on here with a smaller candle throughout the rest of the year. But for fall and winter, I always do 
really big candles and then I put this tree there and this tree is a time tree so it turns on you can have it set to turn on basically at the same time each day and then it shuts off after like six or eight hours and then i got this one last year so i'm gonna put this one here i think i need to replace the batteries which i have and then i just got this candle i think two weeks ago from target or it was last weekend i forget all the weekends are kind of falling together but got this one it smells really good it's a six wick candle so, and then I liked how it was green, ties in with the tree. And then I put this little one with usually like a little candle over on this part. This was like the best candle that I got this year. I've burnt it so many times for so many hours and it was $10. It was so cute. Looks like a little pumpkin. And it still has a pretty decent amount left. But I'm gonna swap this out for the tree and the other candle. Here's what this looks like. Target, Target. This is Crate and Barrel, Amazon. This is also Target, and I think they still have it, so I'll link it. And all of this is from Target, even this. And then right here, I got these stems last year from Target, and they have these little blueberries in them, so I put them in here on this. And then I got this candle last year. Tis the season. It smells really good. I got it from Bath & Body Works. So this is what I put in here this year around the holidays. I usually put this on the coffee table in that vase but i put them in this one because i got this vase a couple weeks ago from target for this area of the kitchen and i put these in there for now and then i'm probably going to order another set of these i got them off of amazon and they're really good for amazon in the price so i'll link these down below um i'm just going to keep these branches in here for now and then order another set once the holidays are over for this space right here. But that's basically all I do. Just have little touches here and there. I don't really go overboard. But we do also have a small apartment, so if I did more, I feel like it'd be too much. really enjoying our Christmas decor being up. Um, went to the grocery store this morning, came back, not meal prepping this week, just doing something really easy from Publix. I just, not in the mood and it's totally okay. I'm trying to be better about not always needing to like show up as like the best version of myself. I don't always need to be productive, which is really hard for me to let go of being productive or trying to find things to do like to clean or laundry or what can i straighten i need to learn that it's totally okay to not do anything and not be productive and there's something really great in finding ways to slow down and not be productive and just relax so we've just been hanging out football's been on the seven hours of commercial free football christian has red zone yeah just did some laundry and then i went to my dad's house took his trash cans out because he's out of town this weekend we were talking on the phone today and 
um, yeah, I just offered because tomorrow, Monday, is when the trash comes. So I went to go do that, and now I'm back home just relaxing. We're gonna cook dinner in a couple of hours. And I was scrolling through TikTok the other day, and I just remembered <laughs> that I had this. And I've just been like trying to um, thicken out my hair right here. I feel like my hair is relatively healthy for how, for how blonde it is, but I've just noticed some thinning right here. And yeah, I want to try and just grow a lot of hair through here and get it thick. So just when I pull it back, it doesn't look so thin, but I do have really thin, fine hair to begin with. I'm just trying to thicken out through here and I've just been doing collagen and then like that serum that I use by Vegamore and also oiling my scalp and massaging. So I was going through TikTok and I saw this, um, what is it called? Like a high frequency device. I've actually had this for I want to say three years and I haven't used it since Christian and I moved into this apartment but I brought it with us and it's just been sitting under the sink. I really should be using this more. I don't like I just don't but it comes with a lot of different tools that you use in different parts of your face and it comes with instructions but I saw someone using a device with the hair tool to help stimulate hair growth so I'm gonna use it right now and I think you can use it like twice a week to help let me make sure it's on zero I think you can use it for about like five minutes I don't know why I decided to share this but I just remember that I had it exactly what it was that helped <laughs> okay i'm gonna put this away by the way like by no means am i recommending this um i was influenced by someone on social media a couple years ago when purchasing it and if you're like an esthetician in the comments can you please like tell me if those even work i've had it for a couple of years like i said but i haven't used it in a while honestly at all and I just saw someone using it on TikTok and wanted to try it for my hair because when I originally bought it, I never used it on my hair. So if you're an esthetician or if you know about those products, do they even work if they're at home or can you only get them done in like an esthetician office, med spa, things like that? Let me know in the comments if you know, please. But yeah, just wanted to use that to try and maybe stimulate some hair growth. I just took a really great bath doing my skincare and I made some tea. I'm sipping on this sleepy time tea right now in one of my Christmas mugs that I love. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this video here. I'm doing my skincare and gonna brush my teeth, get into bed, and get up for another work week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.